there, and welcome to my channel. I'm Crafty Kathy, the owner and creator of Kids Vintage Farmhouse in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And I'm so happy and thankful that you stopped in to craft and spend a little time with me today. Last week, I got the idea to scour the internet and find the most popular Halloween DIYs of this season, but to do them with Dollar Tree items or mostly Dollar Tree items. And you guys love that video. So this week we're gonna do part two. And if you want, I can do one more of these videos. So let me know what you think. But before we start the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's jump in. The first DIY is probably the most popular one I have saw all Halloween season. It's anything floating, the Harry Potter floating candles and I thought the floating pumpkins were really cute. I grabbed three of these pumpkins from Dollar Tree. You do have to add a couple of the AAA batteries to these, but these are gorgeous when they're lit up. They're a really nice light. And then you see that I have two different varieties of candles here. I got these off of Timu, and these are the kind that you put a couple batteries in the bottom and you screw them on to turn them on. However, Timu does have the Harry Potter ones that you can click a wand and they all come on at the same time. I'll leave that link down below and if you want to keep it Dollar Tree, use those emergency candles that they have in the candle section. They're light up also. This is so simple to do. You just grab some fishing twine or you could use some of this floral wire if you're wanting to use what you have on hand. All I'm gonna do is tie it around the very top of my candle, and that's literally it. And then you're gonna take a flat thumbtack and you're going to stick it in the ceiling at various heights. And we're also gonna do that with the pumpkin. I'm gonna show you with one how easy this is if you use the fishing twine. It just goes right through the top because it's kind of stiff. And then I just tied a couple of knots in it and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing with this one and just kinda of hang them at various heights. If you wanna go an extra step and really jazz these up, you can draw jack-o'-lantern faces on your pumpkins, but I thought that this would be a cute idea to get these little wooden DIY stickers from the Dollar Tree. Put just a little tad of hot glue on the back and pop it on so easy and my grandkids are absolutely going to love these and i just stuck a couple of the little spiders on just one or two of the candles and for the first picture i wanted to show you guys what it looks like with the lights on as you can see i just stuck these in like an entrance from our sunroom into the living room and you can just see they're at varying heights and then here's what it looks like with the lights off it makes a beautiful glow at nighttime and it is gorgeous and so easy. DIY number two was really popular last year, but I've seen it a lot this year. We're gonna do the bathtub skeleton. I found this stuff at Dollar Tree. I realized when I got home that these skeletons were much too small, and I was so happy to find this bathtub, by the way. I took the bathtub outside, and I spray painted it white. But before I do, did that, I put tape all around these little gray parts because I didn't want to paint them. When I spray paint anything, especially plastic, I always use the Rust-Oleum two times in the Ultra Matte White. It's my favorite spray paint. I want to welcome you right quick and just say I'm so happy and thankful that you stopped in to spend a little time with me today. These projects are super easy. You guys know I've been under the weather, so it was really nice to do something that's very simple and literally no skill required. So anybody can do these. You can do these with your grandkids or your kids and it's so fun. Most people do the candle in these, but I wanted to shake it up and do something different. I've got these super beads that I ordered off of Amazon last Christmas and they're clear, so I thought that they would be perfect bubbles. The dogs were so excited and Tuffy wanted to show off his gorgeous 
Halloween collar that he got at Timu. And guys, you will not believe what I did. Since I was adding water to these beads in the house, I had to take a quick shot of the dogs and I had to show y'all Tuffy's new wig because I'm sorry, but it's hilarious. He looks like John Lennon or one of the Beatles. He doesn't like it very much, but you know, I had a good time. So anyways, I got back out to my craft room and dummy me still had the camera turned the wrong direction while I was filming. So it was filming the, ce the ceiling the whole time. Okay, but I can show you what I did. I took a piece, it's a pillow cloth, like a pillowcase, and I just cut a small square out and I wrapped this around his head to make like a towel. This is one of the skeletons that were at the Dollar Tree last year. Those annoying ones where you click the little button on their heads and they start, their eyes turn green and they make a noise. Well, I don't want him to make a noise, so I covered that part up. I just cut him in half. I put a tumbling tower block down on the bottom so that it would lift his pelvis up enough to look like his legs are hanging out of the tub and he's just having a good time. And then I took one of these little Timu spiders that I got and just stuck it on the side for just a little added effect. And I was so happy. These came with a rubber ducky and a little bar of soap. So my grandson is gonna love this. I decided to grab some of those fairy lights that I got off of Amazon, and I'll leave the link down below. You get 24 of these in a pack for like $11.99. That's like 50 cents per each pack. They're orange and purple, and they're perfect for Halloween. And since the candle was such a big deal last year, I just wanted to try something different. You can always melt down those candles at the Dollar Tree and use that if you don't want to use the bubbles. Now let's jump into number three. This one is, you can do this with any of the cutouts from Dollar Tree. I've got the witch and I actually purchased two of them. I'm just gonna cut the tags off and we're gonna give her a quick paint. What I'm gonna do is just grab my DIY paint in the color called Black Velvet. It is my favorite black DIY color. And you don't even have to be perfect about the way that you paint this. Almost the sloppier you are, the better it looks. That's just my opinion. You may not think so. I just went over this really quick. And then I grabbed the color called Aviary, which is a dark green color. And I'm just going to highlight her face. We're not going over any of the features. We're just doing like a really rough paint job on this because I can't draw to save my life. And I just think it looks better this way because the thing that we're going to do to these to make them gorgeous is light it up. So if you go putting faces on her and stuff like that, I almost think it takes away from the main point, which is that she's lit up and gorgeous. Well, she's not gorgeous. She is a witch, but you know what I'm saying. So the next thing that I did was I, my little trick to cover up the holes is just to put a small piece of white masking tape and paint right over it with that same color of black that I painted her. I took my other witch outside because remember I told you I bought two of them and I just spray painted that one black pretty much just around the edges because that's the only part that you might be able to see. I'll show you how I did that one in just a moment. But we're going to grab our fairy lights here. And these are the ones that I told you that I got off of Amazon. There's 24 in a pack for like $11.99 unless the price has changed. And I hope it hasn't. But you just go ahead and undo these really quickly. And I just used some of those little tabs that you get at the Dollar Tree. They're over where the super glue items are. And they're in a roll. I think they're just called like super glue dots maybe i'm not really sure you can probably just use their regular glue dots too but i really like these because they're super glue brand and i just went around and would stick one of those every little bit and it was plenty enough to hold the lights down where we wanted them to go i don't want to hold you here all day watching me put these lights on so what i'm gonna do is speed up the video here and as you can see I just went around 
it, because the only part that you're going to be able to see from the lights is going to be around the edges, kind of like her outline. So I went all the way around and I added one string of lights around her and I ended up putting two on the cauldron. Now you can do as many as you want. You can light this sucker up so that the whole block can see it. It's totally up to you, it's your DIY. And the thing that's really easy about this is you don't have to worry about how perfect or straight these lights are. You can literally just kind of ball them up because if you do that and kind of, or not ball them up, but you know what I mean, kind of bunch them up a little bit, it brings more light to that certain area that you just kind of bunched them up in. And that's what we're wanting. I grabbed some of these rulers from Dollar Tree. They come in a two pack and you see these little purple things on the sides. I'm just gonna pull those off because we don't need them. We're just gonna use this for her to stand on. I wish I would have painted that black before I put her on there, but honestly, I just wasn't thinking. It has a little lip in the middle, which is perfect to just glue her down and give her something to stand on. And you see what I'm talking about when I said I just went around the edges, like the middle part of the witch you don't even have to worry about. And I'm gonna put this one in line right behind that first one. That way when you're looking at it straight on, it looks like it's one piece, or honestly, you can't tell that it's two pieces. The easiest way to put this on is to grab some hot glue and just go all the way down the bottom part of it, anywhere that it's touching. And I think that the easiest way to line it up is to set it up on your table and just kind of stoop down to see what you're doing. Now she turned out to have an awesome glow and I really am glad that I picked the purple and the orange lights this is at nighttime when it's not even totally dark. This is in my craft room, so of course it's a little bit darker in here right now than what it is outside, but guys, she really makes a statement, and I really like it. We've got one more quick DIY, and that's it for this video. This one is super simple. I know you guys have seen the ghost candles that everybody's making you put them in really, really hot water. And I got so frustrated because I actually broke mine. What you're gonna do is when you put them in that really hot water is you're just gonna kind of mold them and bend them to where they curve. And then you're just gonna draw little ghost faces on them. So since I broke mine, I thought we're gonna make baby candles and just use the bottom part. I know that's crazy, but it is what it is. I only bought two and wasn't thinking. My husband said that my water wasn't hot enough, but I just don't like pouring hot water on my hands because hello, it's uncomfortable. But I can just about bet you the hotter the water, the easier it is to maneuver them. I wanted mine to be a little bit more bent than what they are, but it is what it is. And I lit mine and let the wax kind of pour over the sides so it would look like a little drippy ghost. And then what I'm gonna do is grab some of these Dollar Tree candle holders to stick them in. They have witches and I picked the cats, and I think they have one more. Maybe it's a ghost. I can't remember. If you really want to jazz these up, put some Mod Podge on the cat and put some orange glitter on it, and they really look cool when you do that. I did that last year, and I like the way it looks. I put a little bit of the wax in the bottom of these so that it would be easier to grab onto my <coughs> baby ghost candles that I purposely made, and first I just grabbed a black Sharpie and I drew the eyes and the little mouth on. The messier it looks, honestly, the better it, or the messier it is, the better it looks. Let's just say I can't talk today. So yeah, I decided to put a little bit of my black velvet paint on a very fine detailed paintbrush and that looked so much better to do it that way because it was so much more vibrant. And I hope you like these little baby bent ghost candles. 
Hey, I left it in there because I wanted to show you guys that we're human too. We don't always knock it out of the park with every DIY. So remember to give yourself some grace. And y'all know that I've been sick this week, so I definitely had to give myself some grace. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. We would love to have you and we always have room for more. And if you would, leave me a comment. Let me know which one was your favorite and if you have one you want to see me do. I'll see you guys soon. I love ya.